Hello there, Big Benedict here. We're playing Ninja Guide in Sigma, and this is my Eternal Legend Master Ninja Difficulty Guide and Walkthrough. We're currently on phase three of five, and the first part here, I have the Armlet of Fortune on, and what I'm doing is I'm farming for um, red essence drops so that I don't have to purchase them because I, um, at this point, I didn't have. Um, that much money left over so I decided instead of um, filling out with the item I'll just farm for it so I am gonna put that on and the armlet of fortune it doesn't make the reds appear more frequently but when a red nimpo does appear if you get it it gives you two instead of one see how it just did that I had one and then now I have three after I picked that up okay now on this part um, what I would recommend is running around the room and using your uh, explosive arrows nonstop. Uh, watch out for the uh, those mages though, because on these higher difficulties, I think I think they started on very hard, but it might be exclusive to this mode where they do that. Uh, they do three AOEs on the floor, and if you get trapped in any of them, you get uh, massive damage. But I do have to say, if you are worried about this difficulty, it's really similar to very hard difficulty. So if going from very hard to Master Ninja, there's not much that you're going to notice because you get brutalized on, on uh, very hard. You get brutalized on normal, too. Um, and I just wanted to mention that it took me um, at least a week to get my, my, my bearings straight on this trial. Anyway... Um, a couple of bosses as usual on this as well I think there's um is it Hydrocubus? It has to be Hydrocubus I think it's Hydrocubus and uh, Jotunfrau so now that we have all of our magic I'm gonna switch back to the benediction I had like nearly 60,000 at the end of this it's incredible and this is one of the reasons why you want to put your benediction armlet on as well as the holy um, holy, I was going to say Holy Grail. Uh, yeah, just, you know, whatever it's called. Maybe it is called the Holy Grail. But you want to put that on the Holy holy um, Gauntlet, I think it is, with the Benediction, as I mentioned, those two, and get red, uh, red UTs over here, and you'll get a ton of money. Shoot a couple of them with the Explosive Arrows to get off your charge, and then just collect all the Essence. You'll get a killing here. A killing and then for Hydra Cubis um, what I like to do on him and and by the way like I said in the last video there's not enough room to move around in on these uh, on these goddamn uh, floors it, it's ridiculous and you always wall clinging off the glass wall because of how you know close everything is to you Hydra Cubis though he's got he's got lackeys some of the harder bosses don't have lackeys. This one, he does have lackeys constantly. What happens is, when you sever his tentacles, then you get access to hit him. Um, I would love to do that, but I've got these lackeys to deal with. And what I would recommend is use your arrows to shoot them as much as you can. If he, hit, if he hits and kills them, you don't get the essence for that. How hardcore is that? You know, I mean, that's just brutal. Um, but ideally, you want to sever his tentacles, go up to him, activate the flame wheels, and then do 360 spins with the Dragon's Claw and Tiger's Fang. If you have that up to level 3, and you put the Azure Helm on, as well as the Armlet of the Sun, you will you can take him down uh, in one, one session, probably. But um, because I'm, uh, I'm doing this method here against my, really my wishes, um, I have one arm getting killed a lot sooner than the other arm and what that means is that he he does not give me an opportunity to hit him very much because of the other arm it's just incongruous it's out of look at that see all that damage that's really what you want to do it's better than a UT but you want to sever the tentacles within close proximity of one another you know 
if you wait, then you won't get much opportunity to hit him. What do we have here? Oh, another Lives of the Thousand Gods. Now equip your um, your benediction and your holy gauntlet. And we're, we're, what we're going to do is uh, fire off explosive arrows into the archers. And then uh, grind for essence over here off the rest of the um, zombie creatures. Because you don't want to be grinding for essence when any archer is around. So it's a great opportunity. It's another opportunity. See, we already have 38,000, and we still haven't even uh, done our next grinding session. What's this? The Kaitetsu? Might as well just put a piece of shit in the chest. Um, but yeah, it's like two shots. And then um, use his essence to to do this. And of course, you, you know the drill. I think there's two archers as well. Get as much money as you possibly can. Marbus too. I thought he was... Marbus has cats, and the cat enemy is the hardest enemy in the game. Um, oh, it's not Marbus yet. I'm sorry. It's Jotunfrau. Jotunfrau is... Again, it's a humongous boss in a tiny, cramped little space. That's my biggest criticism of this. On this next wave, though... Um, because you've got ground-based creatures running around, those lesser fiends, the purple ones, as well as uh, those those flying bees, what you probably want to do is equip the armor of power to... This is going to strengthen your projectile damage. If you want to. You could also, if, if you're in need of health, you can you can put on the... the, the um, I think it's called the Falcon... No, Dragon Gauntlet. See, I'm trying to get... I'm going to try to get... I'm going to maximize how much I get from the, the blue essence drops so that I don't have to use an item. You always want to be thinking about uh, uh, suffering down the line is what this whole trial is basically boils down to. You want to think of your next suffering later on. And by that I mean make sure you, you be frugal because... Oh, there we go. I must have had the Armlet of Fortune on. And we've got full... full Nympho. Uh, Jotunfrau, too. I think he's got... Yeah, he's got lackeys. A boss is not a boss if he has to have help. I've, I've said it so many times. And to this game's credit, a couple of the bosses in this game, they don't have lackeys. Um... But the majority of them do, and it's really frustrating. Okay. What do you use on him as far as Nimpo? I think the Inferno would damage him more, but if you want to take care of the Lesser Fiends with the with the Lightning, go for that. Um, he has one attack where he slams his fists down, and he, he has all of these Ice Spikes come up, and they're very hard to dodge. So if you see him doing that, and you're not comfortable with that, do something that has iframes or use uh, the magic, which has iframes too. He's only hittable at certain times too. Um, when he's moving around, that's a grab by the way. If he's moving around, shuffling around, trying to get another position, you can't hit him at that point. It's very strange. But the um, this here, you need to get out of the way of that. If a few of those hit you, you're in, you're in deep trouble. See, you know, see how he did that flip? These flips here, you can't hit him during these moments. Which, as I mentioned, is kind of stupid. But just charge off the essence that it, these lackeys leave you. And um, there's plenty of... Since he's so slow, there's, there's plenty of time. You don't need the celerity armlet on here. You definitely will want the, the, um, the, the Billero. Starting at the next video, next phase, phase... Four, you can upgrade the Delib Delib Delibero, um, or I used to call it the Dabalahro or something. I, I don't. It's hard to say what that thing is. Um, but at the beginning of phase four, you can upgrade the Dabilero to its uh, highest strength. It only costs you five thousand. Oh, watch out that for that too. 
he does a um, a straight line right in front of him. That's a, a line of icicle projectiles. So you got to be careful of that. And then make sure you're blocking here, and put on your armlet of benediction and your holy gauntlet, and get your reward here. Oh, the true drag. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, that's where I thought. Okay, I thought the true dragon sword was in the next video, but no. Here, the true dragon sword is here. Now, this this seems to be random. Um, if you're lucky, you get m multiple spawns of these fish. And you want to put on the armlet of fortune to get double the essence if you can. Um, but I only got one measly spawn of the fish. And uh, I couldn't farm for red essence right there. So now let's go over to the store and see what we have to do. I have a lot of things to do here. First of all, I need to upgrade the Debilero to level 3. And then we'll go back to the shop. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the... Um, the I know it's called something of intelligence. I'll, when I see it, I'll I'll let you know. Um, what I want to do, since this phase, I'm sorry, the next phase, the next two phases, magic really helps. So I'm going to um, put on the. It'll it'll show up in a moment. First of all, though, I'm I'm going to apply the two lives of the thousand gods. The um. The intelligence item, it does give you one more key slot. So instead of five, we'll have six. Um, the trade-off is it decreases your health, but only a, a slightly, so that it's not going to matter in the in the long run. Okay, so we've upgraded the two Nimpo that we have to, to max. We're going to fill our health up a little bit. And then... See, I, 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 um, I could go with the Armlet of Fortune and try to farm that, but since I have, uh, you know, more than enough money, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna farm anymore with the, with the um, Armlet of Fortune. So we can just take that off. Armor of Intelligence. Okay. See the decrease in our health. It's not much though. So now we have six uses of the Nimpo. And we can rebuy everything. And we still have nearly 25,000 left. So those those two items that help you make money are, are terrific. But did you see what I did there? Uh, since I, I, I don't want to have too much money going out the window, I still put the armlet of benediction on. So that's kind of funny. Anyway, I will see you in the fourth phase. This has been the third one. And until then, please take care.